not by people who are far more popular than I am, i.e. Sagan of Akkad, The Amazing Atheist, Milo Neonopolis, etc. I feel like this needs to be spread, this needs to be shown to a lot more people, uh, because um, there's still a few people out there that's still uh, in the dark about this. So, um, I figured that the best way for me to spread this video is to, um, you know, show this to people who participated in the Message to Feminist Challenge. Because, well, I noticed that a lot of people have come together to make this, you know, this co humongous collaboration to send a message to feminists. Um, so far, um, I was challenged by only one person by the name of Waz Lee, and I honestly did not know who this person was until I was tagged by him. Um, now I subscribe to his channel, and you know, he makes some really good content. Um, I also uh, did not know that a friend of that the person that I subscribe to. Uh, who never made any videos against feminism or, you know, talked about social justice uh, by a guy named um, Swift Sky VA, who is who identify as non-binary, but is the only person so far that I know who is non-binary, but is against feminism and social justice. And he has a plan that if he uh, re reacts to, um, what's his face? Milo Stewart's video on um, how um, every every cis person is uh, transphobic and every white person is racist. Uh, he he or they, if you want to go by that, uh, plans to make a video. Hopefully, it'll get like a major boost of popularity because he's. They are probably the very first person to be non-binary and go against social justice. Like, you'd be surprised on the amount of people who are against social justice. So, again, I present to you this video that I believe that needs to be shared. So, you know, if you're like a first-timer watching my videos, please subscribe to my channel for more, more of this shit. Trust me, you'll enjoy it. All right. So, the other thing I just wanted to say, um, I wanted to invite anybody who wants to um, stand up in the corner in front of the, my, um, the camera is more than welcome to. Um so, you heard that right. Uh, this is a classroom that's, I believe, that's based on feminism. It, it could be a gender studies class. I don't know all the details. But, you know, they're more than happy to block someone's point of view. You know, go like this. Because... They're using a fucking camera. <laughs> Fuck me. Um, if we, um, I know that we had some people who said, I don't want to be filmed, and we've had that. So if we, you know, we can't make them turn off the camera, but if you want to stand up in front of it, that might be an okay thing. Well, they're probably saying that they're wishing they can infringe in their freedom of speech because they don't really like any form of constructive criticism at all. It's just one big fucking circle jerk. Um, okay, we want to talk about feminism. That's our next. All right. By the way, um, the camera keeps freezing for some odd reason. Um, it's actually within the YouTube video that you're watching right now. If you want to watch the original, links down in the description. Feel free to watch it. Um, I mean, that's the entire point of this video, to spread this around and show you guys on how feminism is a complete it just complete other shit um, at your college is this the kind of behavior that no, you can don't okay all right so in, in pairs you all can also do this exercise so you can do this exercise and you can do it with your partner 
so your job, your job is. I think we had a question. Is, Sorry. Yeah, sure. One of the. You had a question. No, I just think you might uh, help the kind of situation just if he could explain what the why he's here, or what the program is for. If it's I'm an independent reporter. I'm a blogger. Yeah. I run a so YouTube channel. Also right. So basically, this is just deja fucking vu with Melissa Click. Yeah. You guys remember Melissa Click? She's the chick who's like, you know, you need to get out. You need to get out. I need some fucking muscle over here. In a public area. Yeah. And now, you guys can't record, you know, classes of feminism because, you know, feminism is the ultimate thing. Ah. Right, so writing about this is great. So are you just filming it is not, what we don't want PCP to film it and we don't want you to film Is this an acceptable environment? Yes. Here, here on your yeah. campus, yeah. yes, yeah. this is. I'm asking this guy because he's an yeah. official for the college. And I'm not he doesn't control me. In giving, um, in being silenced, right? And so we recognize that one of the ways that we center whiteness is that we are silenced by it. So, moving on. Two minutes. Find a partner and please find someone who is not your buddy. It's totally fucking acceptable. Just lock their view. Yeah. Fuck personal spaces. That's yeah. great. Okay. You and I. Don't that. touch me. Don't touch me. Don't. That could have been a perfect <laughs> thumbnail for pretty much anything. You know, Granny is pointing at you, Sonny. It's it's all ruined by the fucking watermark. I wish the watermark was removed. You know, tell these people, remove the watermark so we can see Granny's face. Touch me. I didn't touch you. you did touch I'm stepping backwards and you rammed into me just now. You Don't do that. You leaned right into me. And yeah, he's the one who leaned towards you. I mean, you're not the one blocking his point of view or anything, but a goddamn piece of paper. Fuck you, lady. Obviously, they don't respect my space over here. You just encourage them to encroach on my space. Is this acceptable uh, practices here on your campus? We are trying to protect everyone's safety, yours included. How? How in the world is this for his safety? You literally encourage people to stand in his personal space and block his view. And for what reason? Because he might actually have a differentiating, differentiating opinion? I mean, fuck me! Are you so goddamn fragile that you can't handle any form of constructive criticism whatsoever? Jesus fucking Christ! I, and you know, the funny thing is, is that these are the same feminists that is probably going to attend to events where Miley Yiannopoulos and some other anti-feminists, you know, just gather up. And, you know, they have no problem interrupting, um, you know, blowing fucking foghorns and just shouting out this crazy nonsense. Keep your hate speech off this campus! Keep your hate speech off this campus! Keep your hate speech off this campus! In fact, there's hardly any evidence of Aeneas suffering from the exact same thing. No one goes up there and, you know, just shout out nonsense. They don't, you know, blow some fucking foghorns or whatever. They're, they are just silent. They applaud her and they respect Aeneas Sarkeesian. Meanwhile, Miley Annopolis had to deal with shit like this. I mean, what the fuck? They infringe on our freedom of speech and then go to their safe spaces and when we go into their safe spaces, guess what? We're infringing on their freedom of speech. Because uh, apparently it's okay when they do it. Fuck. So surrounding me with eight people 
is... Right now, uh, I'm actually offering to partner with you to do the activity. And I, I'm actually going to leave the room. Thank you very much. Okay. Howdy. Oh, all these people are surrounding me, and they're starting to bump into me. Okay. Clap once if you can hear me. I'm, I'm going to leave right now. Howdy. Hey, how's it going? It would be going a lot better if they weren't uh, intimidating me in there. I eight, the, the speakers are encouraging people to surround me and intimidate me and, and, and block my camera. Is that acceptable behavior here on this campus? That's acceptable behavior. They're standing room only. They can stand where they want. No, people were getting up out of their seats. And the speakers were encouraging people to come to me and surround me and block my camera. Okay. Is that, is that behavior acceptable here on campus? It's acceptable, sure, it's acceptable. Oh my god. Oh, you heard him. Even security isn't going to help. They were like, nope, nope, not our problem. <laughs> so this video goes on for another three minutes. Um, he got a uh, camera stand where, you know, he could, uh, not a camera stand, but like one of those selfie sticks that he could get for like, I don't know, 10, 20 bucks. Um, and a girl, one of the girls, tried to block it with a piece of cardboard. <laughs> Fuck me. So, yeah, these people. Like, how is this ethical in any way, shape, or form? This is, this is unacceptable. I mean, how fragile are these fucking feminists are? It's just amazing. It's mind-boggling. And quite frankly, this is why we need to get rid of feminism out of schools. Because people are so unbelievably fragile. And yet they continue to say things like how masculinity is so fragile. Yeah. The exact same feminists who demand safe spaces, who demand segregation, says things like how masculinity is unbelievably fragile. 